This will be for my tomato raised bed garden. And we're starting out with four two by sixes. And we're gonna use a couple, one to two, two by twos. Okay, we have about a two and a half foot stake. We're gonna put the stakes in, as you can see, at each corner is two stakes, and then we're drilling two screws to each stake, and we'll be doing this in all four corners. Okay, now it's all built. It didn't take that long, maybe 45 minutes of that. And it is, it's a very simple one that we're doing here. Um, and if you can see, they're, they're pegged in all four corners. So that was four two by sixes and about one two by two. Next thing I'll show you next, we're gonna dig up the ground here to get rid of all the weeds and the grass. Though it's not a big section, it's certainly time consuming to dig it up. You can see I'm out of breath here, but it takes a little bit of time. You have to take a break and then get back to it. But uh, yeah, I'm getting it done. As you can see, it's all dug up and now we're just raking it up. And I'm gonna do the next step pretty soon. Okay, once the bed is all cleared up for the tomatoes, now we're gonna add some topsoil. We're adding cow manure. I'm gonna be putting coffee grinds in there. And as I, I will show you step by step what we're doing. I'll just From the looks of it, we might be adding more topsoil, we'll see. But I'll tell you at the end of this video if we did whatever we added after. And the tomatoes won't like, it, the weather's too cold, so that won't be going until at least the second week of May, like most of my stuff. So it's got time to sit, which is a really good thing for it too. I also want to add some, um, well we have to do a fire, we're going to burn some wood out here, which I'm going to show you. Uh, the butterfly garden on a video and that wood is going to be going in so we get some wood ash thrown here too after and uh, I'll know by the time the end of the season how the tomatoes are doing I'll probably come back and show you how they did in here and if we need to adjust the soil we'll definitely do that too now the next thing we're going to add is the cow manure going in now this is the first time I worked with this as a fertilizer, so it's an experiment for me too to see how it goes. I've never used any manure at all. I've never really used a major fertilizer in my garden, and I am trying to keep it as organic as possible. So just one bag. I might have to add some more, but I think that might be plenty. We'll see. We'll know how the tomatoes do. So now we're going to rake up the manure and get that all mixed up nice. Now as uh, my I brew the coffee, normally you should let the coffee grinds dry out for the nitrogen from coffee grinds, but um, I have some fresh ones and I'm going to just throw it in as I have the coffee and, and we'll mix it up because it has, like I said, it's, it's only what the second week of April right now. So I still have a little less than a month for that all to biodegrade and everything mix in. And I will probably make sure I got worms in there. They're happy little worms. I will probably take some compost in there too that I have and throw that all in. So right now we're taking the, uh, I kind of store it, but you have to watch it because coffee grinds go, go moldy if you don't get them separated. They have to be separated and dried out. But here we go. There's the coffee grind going in right now. I'll probably add some eggshells too. To it, I don't have any right now to put into it, but I will be. I'll be adding um, eggshells as a calcium, which tomatoes need a high amount of calcium. Or you're going to get root rot for the tomatoes, for the black spots you see on tomatoes. I don't have enough calcium in the house, like the, the eggshells and that, so I'll probably, I might have to add some. Plus, um, I'm also going to add to it um, as the bananas. I dry out bananas. That's potassium, and I will add a little bit of magnesium, but not too much. Uh, because the magnesium, a little bit is good, which is um, Epsom salt, 
but not too much. And I was reading on that if you put make your um, too much magnesium, uh, which is Epsom salt, is going to make the leaves green. That's what it works on. If the greens are too nice looking, it attracts all these bugs, and they can't wait to eat up those green leaves. So you don't have to go too crazy to make your leaves look too awesome. Just saying. So um, I will continue on this video. In the end, I'll come back and tell you all the stuff if we added to it. So right now we have the topsoil, we have manure, we have coffee grinds. And like I said, I'm going to be adding wood ash, some calcium. And as you can see, we added a lot more wood ash. And now I'm going to add some Epsom salt, which is magnesium. We added five more bags of topsoil, a total of 10 bags. We we're going to put another cow manure, which that's two cow manures. Um, I've added Epsom salt and I've added um, the, the uh, wood ashes and I'm going to add a bag of organic composting. So, so far that's about it. That's all I think I'm going to add to it and let it sit because I can't put the plants, like I've said several times probably, um, not until May. So we're going to let this all sit and it should be really uh, nice for the tomato bins. So why don't we... Today is June 18th and this is how my tomatoes are doing in my tomato bed garden. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye from Mrs. Green Thumb for now. Take care.